Hello, welcome to the video series on project planning and controlling with Microsoft Project. My name is Jacques Alexis, I'm faculty here in the leadership and project management domain in CPS. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to forecast your project performance using earned value analysis in Microsoft Project. In a previous video, I discussed progress report and variance analysis. The title of the video was Reporting Project Progress and Variance Analysis in Microsoft Project. This video is going to be a continuation of it. If you haven't seen it, please watch that video first and then come back to watch this one. So, um, what we're going to do, we're going to use earned value management, EVM, to forecast the performance of your project. Now, what you need to remember, forecasting is about looking into the future. So in order for us to do that, we need to understand our current performance or our performance up to this date, what we call the stage state, and see how we extrapolate um, this performance into the future. So what do you need in order for you to do that? You need to have a baseline, you need to have reserve uh, in your baseline, in your plan. You need to report progress, but also you have to tell the software, how did you complete the tasks that you completed? Did you complete them on time? Or uh, did you complete it ahead of time? Did you have a course variance or a schedule variance between what we call the plan values and the actual values. So we look, for example, at plan finish date and actual finish date. So that's actually very important. Now, if you have all this, because this file is a continuation of the previous video, we have everything here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to display the earn value table. So I'm going to click on view and tables, more tables, earn value table, and I'm going to click apply. So there are two key earn value analysis indicators that I'd like to discuss with you uh, in this video. So the uh, first one is um, what we see here on my screen. Uh, it's, uh, it's called EAC. Now, EAC means estimate at completion. It means at the end of the project, what will be the cost of my project? That's what is actually telling me. So what I'm looking at here, it's telling me that if my team's productivity remains the same, my project will actually cost 394000 $580 at the end of the project, that it, if my performance continues the same way. As you can see, there's a difference between the plan value, the budget at completion, and the estimate at completion. So um, both are estimate uh, completion, but this one is actually the baseline plan, but this indicator is an indicator based on my performance so far in the project. The other performance indicator that I'd like to talk about is VAC. VAC means variance at completion. It tells me whether I'm going to have a budget surplus or a budget deficit at the end of my project. As you can see here, I have a positive VAC, which means that uh, if my team productivity remains the same at the end of this project, I am going to have a budget surplus of $99,174. So that's uh, what those are indicators uh, tell you. So whenever they ask you, how do you think your project will end? So they want to know whether you're going to have 
a budget surplus or deficit at the end of the project, or whether your project will end um, uh, ahead of schedule, behind schedule, or on schedule. So you can actually use um, earn value indicators to provide this information. In this video, we are only going to discuss these two um, forecasting measures and we are going to provide more information on earned value analysis in future videos. So thank you for watching and watch for the next video on project planning and controlling with Microsoft Project. Thank you.